welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting limit question limit n approaches to infinity n root of gamma of 1 over n times gamma of 2 over n times gamma of 3 over n uh, so and last term gamma of n over n well how to begin okay first I am going to take this limit uh, is equal to L and um, then we can write L is equal to limit n approaches to infinity now here uh, nth root of now we have here product of gamma function so we can use capital pi to uh, represent product so we can write uh, from k is equal 1 to n gamma of k over n okay then um, next step uh, i am going to take natural log both side so here we can write natural log of l is equal to now here we can write uh, natural log of limit n approaches to infinity uh, nth root of uh, product from 1 to n gamma of k over n okay now uh, we know uh, we can change the limit and log so we can write natural log in front of the uh, product so we can write here uh, limit n approaches to infinity uh, now natural log of nth root of uh, product from k is equal 1 to n gamma of k over n okay now uh, according to property of natural log we can write limit n approaches to infinity here nth root so we can write 1 over n uh, natural log of uh, product from k is equal 1 to n gamma of k over n okay now um, what can we do okay here we have uh, natural log of product so we know uh, natural log of uh, product of a function uh, this is equal to sum of natural log of function so here now we can write um, limit in approaches to infinity here 1 over n now instead of product we can write sum of uh, k is equal 1 to n natural log of uh, gamma of k over n okay now uh, we have when n approaches to infinity we have um, infinite sum so in a previous video i discussed about uh, method to express infinite series as a definite integral so uh, according to that video here we can write natural log of l is equal to uh, integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x dx okay if you like to watch uh, that video uh, method to express infinite series as a definite integral i will add the link in the description and also make a card uh, so if not if not uh, you can uh, just graph of the uh, natural log of gamma of x and then take the area uh, under the curve and then you can use the Riemann integral so if you use that method you can also uh, you will also have uh, integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x dx okay now here yeah, this is a very interesting integral 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of x so in a previous video we discuss uh, also we discuss about that integral uh, anyway uh, okay now I'm going to uh, solve also here 
so now we can use um, king's property i think you know about uh, king's property of integration uh, 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx so if you use king's property uh, we will have here 0 to 1 uh, natural log of gamma of 1 minus x dx <coughs> okay now uh, i am going to take this integral is equal to i i also is equal to natural log of l and then here we know this is also equal to i and now i am going to take uh, the sum of this integral so 2 times i is equal to uh, same limit uh, lower limit and upper limit we know 0 to 1 so we can sum uh, natural log of gamma of x uh, plus natural log of gamma of 1 minus x dx okay then uh, according to property of natural log uh, we can write this product uh, sorry this sum as a product so we can write natural log of gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x dx okay now um, then uh, very famous formula we know Euler's reflection formula so instead of gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x uh, we can write we can use pi over sine of pi x dx okay then uh, again according to property of natural log we can write this is equal to natural log of pi minus natural log of sine of pi x uh, here dx okay then hmm, i is equal to now natural log of pi we know constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so natural log of pi times integral from 0 to 1 here only dx so dx we know x from 0 to 1 so we will have 1 so 1 then minus integral from 0 to 1 natural log of sine of pi x dx okay now to evaluate this integral uh, we can use uh, Mm, substitution so if we take pi x is equal to t so pi dx is equal to dt and limit we know when x approaches to 0 uh, t also approaches to 0 when x approaches to 1 upper limit t approaches to pi so we can write here natural log of pi uh, minus integral from 0 to pi uh, natural log of now sine of pi x we know t so natural log of sine of t and dx is equal to 1 over pi dt 1 over pi we know constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here dt okay now um, here natural log of pi minus now we can write uh, we can change the upper limit so uh, I'm going to multiply by 2 and uh, uh, here now pi over 2 so 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of t t t okay now we have another interesting and very famous integral uh, 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of t dt integral we know the answer is uh, this integral minus pi over 2 uh, natural log of 2 so if you like to watch the this integral 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of t i will add the link in the description uh, here now pi get cancelled 2 also get cancelled natural log of pi plus natural log of 2 so according to property of natural log uh, we can write here natural log of uh, 2 times pi natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, here uh, here uh, sorry here uh, this is not i this is 2 times i so now we can isolate the i so i is equal to 1 half 
natural log of 2 phi uh, now we can write this is equal to natural log 2 pi raised to the 1 half so we can write this is equal to natural log of square root of 2 times pi okay then we know uh, i also equal to natural log of l so this is equal to natural log of square root of 2 pi now we can isolate the l so l is equal to square root of 2 times pi okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching